The following opinions are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to test and inspect the Ravalo 246 Cayman. She's the flagship of the Ravalo Cayman fleet and was designed to both fish and be a family cruiser in protected waters. Let's start by seeing how she performs and then we'll look at her features. The interior layout of the Ravalo 246 Cayman blends the functions of a fishing boat with some creature comforts targeted for the entire family. The 246 Cayman has a maximum rated horsepower of 300, which was how our test boat was powered. The Avenue Tech G2 300 outboard had a 25 inch shaft and turned a 20 inch pitch by 15 and 1 8 inch four bladed prop. With two people aboard and 60 gallons of fuel, our test boat weighed an estimated 4,480 pounds. We recorded a top speed of 46.5 miles per hour at 5,500 RPM. Best cruise came in at 3,500 RPM where the boat ran 28.3 miles per hour, burned 7.8 gallons per hour, getting 3.62 miles per gallon in a range of 246 statute miles, with 10% of the boat's 75 gallon fuel capacity held in reserve. In acceleration tests, our test boat went from 0 to 20 miles per hour in 4.6 seconds and to 30 miles per hour in 7.2 seconds. Now, let's give her a thorough inspection. There are five hatches on the multi-level bow casting deck that lead to an anchor locker, a 20-gallon insulated live well, twin rod storage compartments, and a center dry storage compartment. Molded into the deck is a tow rail. The step up is 11 inches tall, the lounges are 49 inches long, and the settee is 73 inches across. The anchor locker has a recess for the road and a pair of keepers to lock the anchor in place. The upper section of the bow deck steps up an additional 9.5 inches, is 71 inches across and 46 inches deep to the tow rail. All of this makes the bow area a good platform for anglers to work. But Rabalo hasn't forgotten the family and what they might want in a boat. The U-shaped settee is the comfortable picnic spot when fitted with an optional bow table. For easy cruising, the port and starboard lounges have forward-facing backrests. An additional seat is on the front of the center console with grab rails on all three sides. The entire face of the center console swings open to access additional storage and an optional head. This design makes it far easier to access this space than the side doors that we usually see. The steering wheel on the console is just the starboard of center. The helm location puts the observer to the port side of the console and centers the driver between the steering wheel and the throttle control. The dash can accept flush mounted electronics flanked by dual switch panels for function control. The top of the console has molded in storage trays. The aft face of the console has a cubby, a storage compartment with battery switch, and a footrest at the base. This optional leaning post had padded cushions that allow the captain and passenger to sit or stand independently. With the bolster in the up position, you have additional support for standing securely while underway. For longer runs, flip the bolster down to form a comfortable seat. A molded fiberglass hardtop adds to the looks and comfort while not weather like canvas. The support legs are powder coated aluminum. The gunnels are 19 inches to the top of the combing pad and there's at least 16 inches of clearance between the console and the bulwarks. The top of the gunnels are 10 inches wide. The stern casting deck has twin 30 gallon insulated live wells, each with a dedicated pump. Either one can double as a fish box. A hatch on the starboard corner opens to a telescoping swim ladder. The stern deck is eight feet seven inches across by four foot one inch deep. The cockpit sole has two stainless steel deck drains. For fishermen, there are rod holders on the back of the leaning post, the T-top, and on the rear of the casting deck. Horizontal rod holders are under each gunnel. To tie up the boat securely, Robali uses eight inch pull-up cleats that are through bolted to the deck. As bay boats go, this hull is on the larger side, but the high shear and excess hull flare will allow better offshore capabilities along with their skinny water accessibility. And that's my full walkthrough and sea trial of the 246 Cayman from Robalo. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.